Welcome to webgolfcoach.com. Swing building. So I like to swing, build the swing up in three phases. We assume we've got ourselves into a good setup position. And phase one is where we start our takeaway of combining arms and body to a point where the shaft is parallel to the ground. The move from here, moving forward through the impact zone into a phase one finish, is a mirror image of our backswing. So again, the shaft is parallel to the ground. Phase two is where we're passing through phase one to a point where we've made a, a lot more rotation. The arms have gone to a point that are parallel to the ground, a nine o'clock position, and the shaft is pointing up to 12. From here, there's a little bit more wrist hinge at this point, and finishing that through our impact zone, we're going to do our mirror image again. So the arms are now pointing at 3 o'clock, and the shaft is again angled up towards 12. Phase 3 is the full swing. Moving through phase 1, 2, and to the top of the backswing, where a shoulder rotation from the start will have rotated 90 degrees. Our hips are doing no more than half of that. So we get a sensation that our body is actually coiled up. We've created a lot of resistance into the top of the backswing purely because we have our fixed point in our stance and our body's acting like a spring. So we have a fixed point with our stance and the upper body is rotating away from that point. That gives us a full wind-up in the backswing. There are three angles that our backswing can be in, although one of them is the one that we're looking for. One, we don't want to get to a point where the shaft has moved up too steep. We don't want to get to a point where the shaft has moved too much around the body and too flat somewhere in between from a checkpoint where the club, if you let go of it, can rest on top of your, at the edge of your shoulder. That's our full backswing. From there, the sensation is that our body is wound up, but it needs to unwind, coming down through our impact zone, past phase one, phase two, and into our full finish checkpoints to look out for in our full finish. The body has fully rotated around to the left of your target. The weight is very much on my left foot. Knees are together and the right foot has come onto the toes and with a very, very, very light pressure on there. So that's putting the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together of the golf swing. Turning away from the golf ball, giving that sensation of loading up getting to a point that as we come down from our transition of when the backswing ends to the downswing starts we get a feeling of doing two things we have a slight lateral movement and then we have a rotational movement so as we pass through the impact zone we've gone into phase one finish where everything is caught up we've got rotation in our body the arms and the club as we're working then towards our full finish through that swing, we've, we need good control and good balance. But it's an excellent way to build up your swing and hope, hopefully you'll get some successful golf shots from there.